It is one day after Hurricane Sally hit the Gulf Coast and one month since a confirmed EF2 tornado touched down in DeLand. The Red Cross helped 33 different families. Tonight, some of those families say they could use help to rebuild, but they've learned it will not be coming from the federal government. News 6's Lauren Korn is in Volusia County and found out why. Tons of debris waiting to be hauled away. A month after an EF2 tornado ripped through 4.6 miles of the city, leaving homes destroyed and damaged. 160 miles an hour, and this was the, uh, the zone right here. Karen Conkle Parkin says she's still waiting on home repairs to begin. Our roof in the back, our, our screened in porch is totally gone. Every one of our trees, all of our fencing. Here's a before and after picture of her backyard that she once called a tropical paradise. We had twinkle lights all over the place. Conkle Parkin says she's thankful her house is not destroyed, but is feeling the financial strain, knowing financial aid isn't on the way for her or her neighbors. But criteria must one meet in order to be eligible for FEMA. We have a new, have to have a roof put on. We went three weeks without any power. The toll the damage didn't meet their threshold for supply and assistance to the city or to individuals. City spokesman Chris Graham says the tornado left just over $8 million in damages and affecting 163 properties. But he says the city is doing what it can to help. One thing our commission decided to do is make sure that we don't turn off any water for any of the customers in that area. We're not charging any late or delinquent fees on any utilities in that area as well. What would help y'all today? Say an X. <laughs> All jokes aside, Conkle Parkin says rebuilding her home and neighborhood would be a start. Just wishing somebody would start working on something. Even if not my house, work on hers, work on his, work on theirs. Show us that it's going to be done. In DeLand, Lauren Corn, getting results, News 6.